<laughs> now, I'm just looking at this cash bail or bail bond. Yes. <laughs> um, this whole concept of in the name of the state of Washington, you hereby summons and required to appear in court. <laughs> it's not a request from a judge to appear in a court. It's a requirement of law. Now, when I look at you issuing um, a court order, right, for my arrest for failure to appear, issued on the 7th, and you decided to wait to Saturday the 24th, uh -huh. isn't that you thought that I would run, or that you did know that I wouldn't, or you wanted me to so you could go after me? <laughs> now, I've heard this excuse from numerous individuals, right? Well, the guy's going to run. He's going to go. He's trying to escape going to court. <laughs> He's not going to show up at Jack Rain's office on Tuesday morning at 9.30. But I haven't. I've sat at the same locations every day, making videos and sending you emails about my rights being violated, and you have given ownership of my sons to my wife. Now, why is it that police departments are playing cops and robbers with the whole concept of wanting people to run away so they have a reason to go catch them. Why am I being prosecuted in Jefferson County? Now, we had another instance, yes, mm -hmm, where somebody issued a failure to appear. I had requested from law enforcement that they inform me what the issue was in Jefferson County on August 21st of 2017. And for some reason... You know I'm homeless. I'm emailing you every fucking day, wanting my rights enforced. And you decide to issue this warrant uh, for a failure to appear on August 21st of 2020. <laughs> and you arrested me on the 19th of September. Oh. Again, are you wanting people to run? Now, when you issue a warrant and you get emails and videos of the actual location on the individual every day what possible reason could you allow for a wanted person pooch, to sit there for approximately one month and you're watching the emails and the videos and you're saying you don't, you don't have to arrest this motherfucker now there's a really big problem with not taking seriously the requirements of the law I informed the judge during video arraignment. Fooch, judge, we're, we're, why didn't you give me notice? The judge decides to teach me a lesson. Now, this is cast bail or bail bond at $500,100. They thought it was a big joke when I was uh, arraigned in Jefferson County Jail. How many people have $500,100 cash bail or $50,010 sitting around to make a bail bond? Now, let's say I had. I was one of these multimillionaires that's wanted by the law that happens to be sending you emails every day. Do you know any bail bond company would make $50,000? For me, posting uh, a bail bond, yes, because of a failure to appear where I had emailed every day wanting my rights enforced. <laughs> now, Judge Landis might not realize, Coach, do you know how bail bond companies make their money? 10%. They bond that they will make sure that I appear for all court hearings and in exchange, they get to keep that 10%. <laughs> now, for $50,000, it would seem that this is not only excessive bail, but it's enriching the bail bond industry. <laughs> excessive amounts of fucking bail. <laughs> now, I'm going to sue you for that, okay? You're making a mockery of the judicial system. Mm -hmm. See, I really didn't know how they make their money, Poe. 
But when you put an excessive amount of bail on a warrant for a person's arrest, there are people that don't like going to jail. <laughs> now, <laughs> I know that I've kept these handbooks from being in jail. Yes, yes, yes. I know you're supposed to return them, but I thought, well, why don't I just keep a copy of the handbook for myself? <laughs> Wanting to know of the bail companies that can receive a phone call from those that um, have the assets to post a bond so they can get bailed out. Um, if you issue an excessive amount of a bail bond, are you working for the bail bond companies trying to get them more business than what they're owed? No. I'm not wanting to retard anybody's business pooch. <laughs> but my thought is, anytime it's an excessive amount of bail, mm -hmm, and uh, nobody wants to enforce the laws, pooch, it could be that judges don't realize that there are persons that do not like to spend any time in jail. <laughs> and they happen to have a little more money than I do. <laughs> now, why don't you get me all the bail bond companies of each and every jail again? Yes. And then all the warrants that have been issued for the arrest. And then there's a, there's like a bond association. I put some links on the YouTube video. What is the statutory normal? Is somebody bribing judges to get out of jail? Now, one person issues um, a thousand dollar warrant for my arrest and the police department decides that they're going to wait until I'm swim. When I'm a wanted individual that has a warrant for his arrest so that the swim police department can be on me when I'm sitting in the safe way. But then the Jefferson County waits to enforce or Port Angeles thought, well, it's been a month. I guess he's not going to run. I think we should. Only. And they look at it and they say, my goodness, <laughs> when you're enriching an industry because of excessive amounts of pooch, right the fuck now.